So, this is my set 8 absolute judgment review continues with none other than Link Joker. So, this in this video I'll be going over my favorite cards to come out of GBTO8 for the Link Joker clan requested by my boy Bart at Spartan Trigger. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. I'm going to be going over the triple rares, double rare, and some commons and rares that I like. So, see you in the video. So the first card that I'm going to talk about is Flagellet Messiah. So for those of you who don't know, Flagellet Messiah is the first stride that Link Joker got, which is honestly very, very good. So when you attack, you counterblast and flip any card. I would recommend flipping Flagellet or Amnesty, so you can use XLX or its skill. And then you choose two cards for every um, face. Two unlocked... Two, you unlock... Two cards for every face of Flagellet Messiah in your G zone. And then if the number of unlocked cards is one or more, choose any number of locked cards and you can Omega lock them. And if three or more units were unlocked with this effect, this unit gets plus one crit until the end of battle. So basically, it Omega locks annoying cards on your opponent's field, such as Upstream Dragon if it's still on the field. If they called Melon using Upstream Dragon skill, for Sanctuary Guard, you would lock the Blaster Blade because they're usually going to go in at you first. And if you're going to stride first, this is definitely a stride to go into. So you could Omega lock cards like that so they don't have access to them. But definitely, definitely great card. So happy Link Joker got another option other than straight up generation rares and stuff like that. So next card on my list is the G Guardian, which most of you know I hate. And for those of you know, it reads, if when it's placed on guard circle, unlock two cards. And if you unlock two cards, it gains 10k shield. So what you're saying is, when I guard, I unlock. The, for no, This is mainly for um, Link Joker in general. You unlock the attackers or the boosters that you just locked to gain shield. Granted, it can work with Alter Ego Messiah to draw you some extra cards, and if you use Star Raider, Demon Maxwell, the old G Guardian to lock cards previously, it isn't it doesn't hurt as much. But still, come on. We were all expecting this to work in combination with the locking effect, not unlocking effect. So it's basically only used in Alter Ego Messiah. I don't think any other Link Joker builds will play it. But definitely, definitely could have done a lot better on the G Guardian. So next is Star Vader Infinite Dristiv, who is kind of a G cross ride to the old Star Vader break ride, Link Joker break ride, Infinite Zero Dragon. So basically what it does when it hits a Vanguard at Limit Break 4, choose one of your units, name Infinite Zero Dragon on your rear guard and bind it face up and ride it as stand. So it's basically a restanding Vanguard. And then if you wrote a card... You choose a card from your opponent's back row and lock it. And the secondary effect is Caterblast 2, discard a card on rear guard when, he, when his attack hits a vanguard. If you have infinite zero on your vanguard, you basically ride it. So, it's, so you would attack with this after you attack with your vanguard, so you get a restanding vanguard per se. Granted, it has to hit and it, and it has to like requires a very specific setup. But this the card can definitely definitely do some damage if you're not sh exactly sure what it does. So, uh, even though it's limit break and it still has to hit that uh, secondary skill of counter blast two and being able to ride it, still pretty strong to get more locks off. So just make sure if you ever get confused with the skill, read it because this could this game could make you lose if you if you accidentally take it without knowing what's going on. So next is the new Deleter card, which the new Deleter card, for those of you who don't know, supports Grayon. And Grayon is definitely, definitely a great Deleter card for the archetype in general. And what it does is, excuse me, sorry, it's a 7k, but it gains 1k for every card in your opponent's bind zone. So if you banish Delete a whole bunch of cards, it could be seeing 4 Maybe even 16 by itself if you have 9 and it could hit some magic numbers. And at the end of the battle that your vanguard with the leader attacked a vanguard, your opponent chooses a card from his or her drop zone, binds it face down, vanish delete. 
So that's basically with um, the stride helping you reach your goal of 13 cards in New Binds Zone, if I remember correctly, in order to win the game. An instant win. So that's basically all the Link Joker rares, except for wait, wait, a Quintet Wall. Yup, Quintet Walls are coming back. There's It's a Star Vader Quintet Wall. And it, def it definitely won't see play, but definitely a neat card. So, Counter Blast 1 was placed on GC. You have Star Vader Vanguard, called Top 5. And at the end of the battle, if the attack did not hit, so if it completely stops the attack, your opponent locks one of their rearguards. It's not that good, but it's okay. So, because you're not guaranteed to get the shield when things are hitting for higher and higher numbers. So, I wouldn't recommend running it, but definitely need to see Quintet Walls make a comeback. And if it does go off, your opponent will probably lock one of their boosters, making it easier for you to guard their attack. So the last card we're going to talk about is the um, card that supports Infinite Zero. So basically it's an uh, Infinite Zero 11k attacker, and great when you call it, prone as a lock card, Tower Blast 1, lock a back row, not much more to say, great, great, simple card for the Infinite Zero deck to run and abuse. And its name is Star Vader Gaminga Dragon. So, cool name, too. So, this is my Link Joker set review. If I missed any cards that you want me to talk about, leave a comment down below, and I'll definitely talk to you about it. And don't be sure to, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. It really makes my day when I'm having a rough day at school. See how many thumbs up I get. And leave a comment down below and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.